So there I was on a Zoom call with Yolanda. And Yolanda just decided that she wanted to tell me her whole life story. Yolanda shared with me that she had had a miscarriage. And she also shared with me the things that it was that people said to her. And that is really how she related to me. But you know, I got Yolanda to be very, very comfortable with me. And she shared some very intricate details with me. So I think that my superpower is getting people to share with me the deepest, darkest secrets that they never share with anyone else. My thing is, I want to get women and men to share their stories on a much wider platform. <laughs>
I wrote one word and the tears smeared the ink all over the paper. Because what I realized was that once you write something down, that makes it real. But once it becomes real, that's how you start to heal. You see, I didn't know that when I was journaling, when I was going to therapy. But what I learned on this journey was that you have to get your thoughts onto paper so that it can make sense in your mind today. If I could be put in a time capsule and go back and sit on the couch with my 21 year old self, some of the things I would tell myself, one, the first thing is that time is worth way more than money. You see, I wasted so much time <laughs> trying to build this career and get this money and not focus on having the child that I want. Now, I'm almost 40 years old with no husband and no children. Another thing that I would tell my 21 year old self is to learn from your failures. Let me tell you, oh, back in college, I got my first credit card. I didn't know I could get a credit card in college. I'm, I'm a student, <laughs> but they approved me for a credit card and I went crazy. Actually, I got that card to help my mom buy my sister's school clothes, but then it became an addiction. And I went to dealers and I went shopping. Let me tell you something, my dorm room was the flyest on campus. So please just learn from your financial failures because when I tell you my credit was messed up when I first um, graduated college. <laughs> Another thing that I would tell my 21 year old self when people show you who they are, believe them. For example, I met a coach through another coach. And this coach, I instantly did not connect with this coach. But against my better judgment, I decided to work with this coach because she had something that I needed. I felt like I needed to grow my business. So I did just that. But in the beginning, keep in mind, I had a bad feeling about it. But I decided to work with this coach. Everything was cool, but you know, when the finances looking kind of funny, yeah, the real person can come out. So I would just like to say, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. Each year, about 16 million children will lose their life before the age of 15. That's about uh, 16,000 deaths per day. As a parent, you may feel things like insomnia, depression, anger, disbelief. You may even want to suffer in silence. As a matter of fact, most people do suffer in silence. You wanna know how I know? Because I was one of those parents. So I am on a mission to break the silence that is centered around as especially pregnancy and infant loss, but the loss of a child in general. You see, we can't continue to suffer in silence. We've got to be loud, we've got to be bold, because in order to change the stigma, 
you've got to share your story. <laughs> There's a huge problem in the world. I've come across a lot of different women and men who want to share their stories about their grief, but they don't know how. They want to be vulnerable, but they don't know how. They want to share, they want to be successful, but they don't know how. One of the projects that I'm working on is a collaboration of women who have experienced pregnancy or infant loss. And I've gathered them all together so that they can share to the world how they overcame their, their feelings of grief during the pregnancy or infant loss. But you know, grief is universal. Anybody, can experience grief. You can grieve the loss of your job, you can grieve the loss of your child, you can grieve the loss of your parents. Grief is universal. So therefore, I started my company, Grief Release Publishing. At Grief Release Publishing, people like us, people trust us, me personally, <laughs> because I know what they're feeling. I know what they're going through and I can relate. I have this sense of calmness about me that people feel like they can just share their stories with me. And I can use my power, my superpower, to get them to orchestrate how they want to say and what they want to say. So, at Grief Release Publishing, they know, like, and trust us. My name is Dr. Kamika Henson, and I teach women and men how to properly grieve and heal through writing. And what I have enjoyed the most about making of the entrepreneur is because I filled out the application I hit submit, a few hours later, it was Shay Brown on my phone calling me personally. What? Who does that? Oh my goodness. He personally walked me through everything that I've basically discussed. He taught me how to craft my stories over the phone. And when I tell you, I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> so if you're thinking about making of the entrepreneur or anything that Shay Brown has going on, <laughs> do it. Hello.